Logo is so today I'm sure it's there today we'll go show you this one. It's episode two of Look at History season two. Today we will show you was the first request episode of the season was was the universal pictures. Thank you to Asia for the animation who requested me to do the on on my server because of that. Well, because of the, the uh, some of the logos and when I saw the some of the universal logos on the Wikipedia was a lot of it, the logos so far. So I'm giving a five logos of the first part. So, now we will do. Let's get started. If any of you doesn't know about the universal pictures, here's a background. It is a market film production and distribution company and owned by Comcast through the NBC Universal Film and Entertainment Division of NBC Universal, which is the wholly owned subsidiary of an imagined company, founded in 1912 by Cal Lemmy and most of the teams, because so far. Universal was the oldest surviving film studio in, in the United States, the, fir the world's fifth, the fifth the oldest after Grumont, Pat. Pathé, Tartarus, it was a film, and it was a member of the Hollywood's Big Buy Studios. It turns out over all the film market. It still is located on the University City of California. Its corporate offices are located in New York City. In 1962, the studio was acquired by MCA, which was relaunched as the NBC Universal in 2004. Woody Woodbecker got cut to cut to himself as a, as a company's official mascot. Universal Pictures is a member of the most pictured in the um, association M MPA and was one for the little wool three images um, during the Hollywood School of the Age. 1912-1914 There was a logo concept first of Universal Pictures name Universal Film Manufacturing Company. There's a green ring on the inside it. There's a Universal in the films a white curve text and a white curve line. The Apertina, there was an earth with the print with a first row surrounding them, you know, there's a U and F, the white text, and the black line was was the symbolizing of the, the letters, so yeah. Here's the average club logo. Nineteen fourteen and nineteen fourteen, there was a black curve and surrounded them. There's there's a black way emitted the black lines. The inside of the earth is a universal on films of white text. Here is the logo. Nineteen fourteen and nineteen nineteen. There's a black line shape. The inside is good. There's one moving in pictures of black black curve text. Ever training, there's a universal white text. Also there's no eighty clips on this logo. Nineteen nineteen and nineteen twenty three there there's a black circle surrounding it, it surrounded them. There's a white ring and a black line. The inside of the ring is going to trans Atlantic of film code and limited white text. The inside of the circle is a universal in films of white text. When our old, all the text is curved, was on the top and bottom corner corners. Here is a logo. Nineteen twenty three and nineteen forty one and changed it to Universal Pictures. There's a black earth and surrounded them. There's a universal pictures of white text and a black line. And in our left hand universal, there's there was a the black lines representing the uh the the, the space symbol, I think. It's the space shape, I think. Here was the logo. That's all to the, the, uh, the first part of the local history season 2, episode 2. So, come to the, the part 2, we will be able to continue the, of these logos because of that. Yeah. So, I'm not adding the. the I'm not trying to get about the program because I did it the, uh, for today. So, yeah. So, that's today's video. Please stay safe. Take care.